a sponsored segment, we welcome in our friend from UDOT, John Gleason, <laughs> here to talk about uh, safety now as we enter into the school season once again. And there's no way around this. We've had a big problem in our state with crosswalk safety. We have so been. let's talk about the responsibility of drivers, passengers, and even pedestrians. Yeah, absolutely. And you hit the nail on the head there. It's really a shared responsibility for us as drivers. We need to be watching out for those uh, pedestrian school-aged children. As we said, um, you know, everybody's back in school now and, and so and it's important for parents and students as they're walking to school to recognize that cars, even though you see the cars, the cars may not see you. So you have to almost act as if you're invisible and assume that the cars don't see you and, and take precautions. Make sure that you're not walking out in front of cars even if you have the, even if you have the right of way because that's not going to help you if you're hit by a car. Exactly. I mean, it's state law to stop. But that doesn't mean the car is going to, and we're seeing it over and over again that they're not. Absolutely, and, and that's, that's just it, Glenn. Everyone these days seems to be a little bit distracted. There's more opportunities for distraction with technology, and if you think about it, when you and I were growing up, we didn't have phones <laughs> that connected to the internet. We still found a way to distract ourselves, we, we though, right? We had distractions back then, but there are more opportunities no doubt about right now, it. and I think it's going to be the most uh, challenging behavior that we have that we're facing here, that we're looking at in the future, because as kids uh, grow up they're just used to to being plugged in everybody's used to answering emails responding to text messages and if you're if you're walking in a school zone if you're driving in a school zone if you're driving in general that's not an appropriate time to be texting mm -hmm. uh, and if you're walking probably shouldn't be texting either you need to be paying attention to the surroundings around you absolutely we talk about distracted driving all the time but there is such a thing as distracted walking and we've unfortunately unfortunately seen it cause a few uh, fatal crashes mm -hmm. here and real quick let's move to school bus safety because more school yes. buses are out on the road as well we have about a minute left yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, this is the time that we're going to be seeing buses coming and going from uh, from schools, and it's important that if you see that uh, that stop bar, the stop sign bar out, or the red lights flashing, that you have to stop. You have to uh, give those those uh, kids a a uh, chance to walk across the street to to get off the bus. Uh, you don't want to take any chances. If there's any if there's any time that you may be thinking, well, maybe I should stop, maybe I shouldn't. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. Always better off. Absolutely. Okay, and you guys are always helping us plan our routes to where we need to be as well. The best place to connect with you guys. You can download our free UDOT traffic app. That'll give you all the information on construction projects, weather as we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. and You can uh, even check out the camera and see what the feed looks like. Absolutely. Anything you need to know. All right. One of my favorite apps. Thanks so much. <laughs> appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Glenn. Really appreciate it. Coming up.